this video, we're going to create code in Google Apps Script to filter a data set based on cell value criteria. So just to give you a preview of what we're going to create today, I have a data set of loan records. And the last column here, we have different branch locations. You can see here I have a criteria cell in F2 where I specify a branch that I want to filter this data set on and if I press this button here what you'll see is the data gets filtered based on the criteria in the cell here and just that filtered data gets copied to a brand new spreadsheet so I'm gonna click this button and you can see it just filters the East Branch loan records and paste that data to a new sheet so the first thing we want to do is go to tools and then script editor. Now the first thing that will pop up here is this try new app script editor. I still prefer the old one so I'm going to X out of this. We're going to rename our project. We'll just call this filtered data. I'm going to change this function name to my filter and we're going to begin with a variable called SS for spreadsheet and that's just going to represent the spreadsheet file we're in now. So that's going to be equal to the spreadsheet application and then get active spreadsheet. Our next variable is just going to be called sheet and that's going to represent the sheet that contains our data we want to filter. So that's going to be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then we want to get sheet by name. Our sheet name is called loan records. So that is text and needs to be enclosed in double quotes. Our next variable we'll call RNG for range. That is going to represent the data set we want to filter on our sheet variable. So that's going to begin with the sheet variable and then get range. Our data begins on row two. We have four columns. We have 31 rows, but we want our row count to be dynamic because that could change. So we're going to begin on row two in the first column. Our number of rows, rather than inputting a hard number, we're just gonna reference our sheet variable and then get last row. That will always return the last row containing data. Our number of columns is gonna be four. And then after that, what we wanna do is get the values plural. So we have our data set, our complete data set stored in this range variable, all the values. So now we're going to create a variable called criteria. And that is going to be equal to our filter criteria here in cell F2. So again, we're going to reference our sheet variable. We want to get range. This time we have a single cell, so that's row two, column six. And we want to get value singular because that's one single cell. Now we have our next variable, which we'll call F data for filtered data. And what we're going to do is reference our range variable that contains all of our values, all our loan records. We're going to use the filter method. And this filter method allows you to pass a function where we can specify what column we want to filter on and the criteria for that filter. So that's what we're going to input in this predicate slot here. So. Since we can pass a function, we're going to begin with the keyword function and then the basic syntax for a function, which is the word function, parentheses, and a set of curly brackets. Now in these parentheses is where we're going to just list a variable that will represent 
all of the elements in our range array. So I'm just going to make this simple, call this E for element. And what we want to do is return a set of values based on our filter criteria. So this needs to be begin with the keyword return. And looking at our data, our criteria column is going to be column D based on whatever is in cell F2. But our data set here is stored in a variable, an array variable. So in AppScript, when you're referring to a row or a column in an array, the count begins at zero. So this first column would be zero, one, two, three. So our criteria column is column number three. So we're going to refer to our element variable and this variable by itself is the outer part of our two-dimensional array which consists of rows and columns. So this variable by itself is the outer part which is rows. The inner part is columns. So to get to the inner column we have to next to our element variable type of set of brackets and then refer to that column number which again the count begins at zero so that's column number three for the fourth column and we want anything in that column that is equal to our criteria variable which is the value stored in cell F2. So now if I log this out what we should see here is the filtered data based on East Branch. So I'll hit save, run, we'll have to review our permissions to run this. This is a one time only event so I'll click on the account I'm using, go to advanced, click on our filtered data project scroll down click allow it will say this is running and now I can go to logs and you can see we have our filtered data where only the loan records that have the East branch as the location are displayed so now what we want to do is paste this stored variable filter data onto a new sheet. So we're going to add some more variables. We'll call this next one new sheet and that is going to be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then we're going to use something called insert sheet and that does exactly what it looks like. It inserts a new sheet. After that we're going to create a variable called new range, new RNG, and that is going to be equal to our new sheet variable. And then we want to get range. We want to begin on row two, column one. The number of rows we want to have has to be equal to our filtered data. So we're going to reference that variable and then get the length of that that will return the number of rows in this variable. The number of columns we know will be four so we'll hard key that and we want to set the values this time and the values is going to be equal to our filtered data variable. One thing I know already is when we paste this data onto the new sheet we're going to need to format columns B and C because it will just put it in the general format. So with our new sheet variable we want to get range and this time we'll use A1 notation. We just want to format 
all of column B and we want to set number format and that needs to be enclosed in double quotes and we want to use like an accounting style format so just have a dollar sign zero comma and decimals so we want to do a similar thing with column C which is our percentage column this and add a percentage to the end that should take care of all of that so I'll hit save and when we run this what we should see is we should get a new spreadsheet with just the East Branch records based on this criteria here so I'm going to run And we have a new sheet and just the loan records containing the East branch, which is good. So in the final thing we want to do, we want to add a button that we can just press to run and do all of this. So I'm going to go up to insert and then drawing. On this shape icon, I'm just going to insert a square. I'm going to click in here and just call it filter data. Save and close. I'm going to move this down here and click in this little box here in the top right and assign a script. Now, the name of my function is called my filter. So I'm going to type that in there and maybe we'll change our criteria to south branch and I'll click this and what we should see is a new sheet with just the south branch records and there it is so that is how you can create code in Google Apps Script to filter a data set based on criteria in a cell. That'll be all for now. Please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.